Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Darcy. If you're new to the channel, it is always great to see you in the channel and I really hope that you're doing great. In today's episode, I would like to share with you my knowledge about support processes. Highlights panel on the page layout, which is showing you the stages, perhaps giving you some suggestions to your users. And uh, in today's episode, I'm going to be building from the very beginning the support path, support process for cases. And I hope that you find this uh, useful and you apply this in your work. And as always, I'm in one of my Trailhead playgrounds. I have opened this time service console and uh, I also have opened setup. And in setup, I have already found support processes. And in this playground, I haven't got any support processes set up, so I can do it from the from scratch. And uh, again, just to show you what I'm referring to. So we have this uh, either sales path or support path usually with stages, and uh, I haven't got it. So it's not really that clear in which in which stage I am or in which status. So it should be showing me either I'm in new status, this is a new case, or it's open case, or maybe it's a closed case, maybe it is on hold. So as you can see here in the service console, I haven't got a path for support processes set up. And I, can't, I can see that I have a new status in, uh, for this case. Uh, however, it's not really that clear to, to read and uh, I have to very carefully look at the status. It's, way better when I have a path that, which is showing either it's new, either it's open case, case maybe it's a closed case, maybe it is on hold, and uh, if you have any other status, you can just put the status and add as well suggestions to, uh, to these stages and suggest your users perhaps some useful articles or some certain steps they need to make or make sure the fields are completed. But it is not in here and uh, I'm going to create it right now. Now, we haven't got as well any record, case record types here. So let's start with the new and we're setting up this support process. These are available values and select values for our support process. And these values are right here in the status. So status controls our support process and you can add some more values to this pick list field. Now you can also select the default and we're going to save this. You see, every work can be different. Now I'm used to having open cases. They can be new and then later, once you start working in with these cases, you change it to an open and later you can put it on hold. These values are slightly different and um, it is fine as well, but we'll just work with what we have and perhaps create some more. Now, all right, so we have the support process. I want to edit it. If I click edit, let's go into path. Path isn't enabled, so I will want to enable it. You have to enable your path settings and I have enabled it. I can also uh, tick this box to remember user's path preferences. And here as well, it explains you, it keeps the user's path expanded to show guidance and key fields. So once I have a path in here, it will be expanded or it will, keep, it will remember user's preferences. Maybe they don't really want to have this path expanded. And um, whatever is the case, it will remember user's preferences and I'll keep it this way. Now I'm going to create a new path and I'm going to give it a name, the support path, and select the object of my choice, which is cases. And the record type is master. I haven't got any other record types at the moment. And the pick list, we, ha we have status. So it can be product SLA violation. I will just go with status as discussed in one of the previous steps and click next. Now, these are the current values I have in this field. We have new, so it's a new case, working on the case, it's an escalated case or it's closed. And later I'm going to add some more values. So here you can see it's really nice to provide some guidance to our users. Um, let's say if it's a new case, you can add some guidance. If they're working as well, guidance, 
whether it's escalated and closed, what are the next steps or suggestions for your users. Uh, we'll keep it as it is and select next. And if I want to activate, I do want to activate, then you can decide whether to enable celebrations to your path. Celebrations, I'm going to skip the celebrations part and just click finish. So they will not really see any confetti. In the screen, you can say have a path name, support path, it's active. And uh, the object is case, record type. In this org, I have only master record type, I haven't created any other ones. Um, I'm gonna, going to keep it as it is. And then you can also deactivate it, edit, or you can delete it. And it is the checkbox is ticked, which is perfect. I want to remember user's path preferences. And then now I'm going to just select this tab and go into this code right here and edit page. So now I will need to use Lightning App Builder and add this path to the page layout. I'm going to just close this. Now in my Lightning App Builder, uh, you can see here on the left, we have components and uh, we can just type in take your path drag and drop just below the highlights panel and uh, you can see a nice path preview have new working escalated closed and um, you can decide if you want to close the uh, update button or keep it just keep it it is even easier for your users if they want to mark the status as complete so if they want to mark this stage as complete, then move on to the next step and then to another step. So the button is useful and we can even test this as well shortly after I've saved the new changes and um, add a filter criteria and the path will be gone from the from this case. Now, if I just go and save it, now I should also activate it as it has prompted me with activation. And uh, bear in mind, if you are creating a new profile or a new record type, you need to reassign this path. Otherwise your user, users simply will not see this path on their pages. And you can see, you can set it as org default, app default, or app and record type. I'm going to select it app record type. And yes, yeah, select assign to apps record types. And I'm currently using uh, service console so I can go all the way down select service console it doesn't apply to any other uh, applications it is only in uh, service console at least in my case unless you have any different app for your support teams we're going to select next I will apply to desktop and phone select next and I only have one record type the default master record type going to select it and select next and uh, you can apply it to profiles and I should be the system administrator 100% in this org. So I'm going to apply it to myself. But uh, if there was any other user in this org with a different profile, then I would also have to activate it for their profile or just simply activate it to all profiles using who are using service service console for cases. I'm going to activate it for system administrators in this case and just click next and review assignments. Everything looks good. Select save and that should be done. Saving again. Now going back. And uh, now you can see I have uh, on the, in the very middle, I have this beautiful path. I have the button here on the page layout and uh, it's a new case. Now let's, let's say, let's go to details. I also have status on the side. I want to mark new as complete and move this case to working. So I can just select mark as status as complete. That's, that's brilliant. And um, what if I want to move this case directly into closed. I want to skip escalated. Now, if I mark this status as complete, it will move to escalated and that's not ideal for me. I don't want to accidentally move it to escalated. Now let's go back. I could maybe even move escalated somewhere else, but it does have to be before closed. So if I want to close this case, I have to select closed and mark as current status. Now the case is closed, as you can see, it's wonderful. Status has 
changed in these two places as well and I have closed the case. You could add some suggestions or reminder for users to pay attention. And uh, now let me just change slightly these values. So if I want to add some other values right now in, in status that I have, it's uh, either new, working, escalated or closed. And I want to add something else. So in in the object manager, I have opened case object and in the fields and relationships, I found the status field and uh, in status field, I have these four values. See, I have new, I can add another value and just for the purpose of, uh, of the video, just testing, I'm going to add another, another value which says um, open, so case is open even though working is equals open. And here I can add it to the support process, which I created earlier. Now I have support process, click save and uh, open. Now my open is in here and uh, I can also reorder. And uh, I want to, I want to move this open a bit higher. Let's say we have new, then it's open and um, and then it's working escalated closed now i will make a default value as open and I'm going to save it and for now i'm going to deactivate uh, working and uh, if i quickly refresh this page i would like to see what do i have in this support support path in salesforce all right so now you can see i have new open, working is gone, then I have escalated and closed. The positioning of the page is exactly as I was looking for as I moved open from the very end uh, to the second line. All right, and just to show you, I have new, open, escalated, closed and working. And in the support process, my only, uh, my only path in here, I have so if I click next, I can as well view all stages. And uh, if I wanted to change them, um, I could just go back to the uh, case object, uh, change, reorder them, and then it, they would also reorder here. Have, let's say, escalations. And we also have that button, which users may accidentally click and then from open, it would go into escalated. Then you can add here guidance for guidance for success or just add um, some information here on the side and you can also add or update fields let's say if you if you are in open you can select let's, let's see now I have quickly added these key fields let's say you have a case and it has been open for several days and uh, you can, in, in addition to some success criteria or suggestions, you can also um, highlight some fields for them to, to view. Maybe there's something important on the case that you want to uh, highlight and just move them to, to the key field section. And that's pretty much it about the support process. It is very similar to sales processes in Salesforce if you have used them before. And um, just something to bear in mind, in this example, I didn't have any other record types and uh, I only have one active profile, which is Salesforce Administrator Profile System Administrator that I'm using. But um, bear in mind that if you have multiple record types, you will need to assign this support process to multiple record types. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time.